parsnip variety tender and true there's two examples here one's a weedy example and you can see for yourself the difference um, this is a really nice example we're very pleased with this it's a robust plant um, doesn't need staking we're going to get a lot of seed from this so here we've got tender and true parsnip again um, for its biodiversity it needs quite a, a stand of the plant to get the cross-pollination happening. This one's now ready to be harvested. That's the parsnip we were looking at before. It's quite dry. <coughs> that can simply be snipped off like this. You lose a few seeds as you go. And then that can be put in a pillow slip. I always turn the pillow slip inside out so that there's no seams for any of the seeds to catch in. And that just tucks in there. And that can be hung up and that's ready to go. That'll be it's getting dry, but just in case it's not quite dry. Um, hang it in there and then you can just around like that and all the self-sown baby parsnips so in that bottom of that pillow slip you'll oh you'll see all the seeds here these are all the little seeds that have dropped down from the one I've just put in the pillow slip <laughs> this is how it would be in the garden and you'd rub the dirt away just to get a feel of what the diameter of the plant is. And so I'd say this parsnip is ready to eat. And that's just starting to shoot. You can see the shoot coming up. So it's a little bit past. So that should have been pulled up probably a few weeks ago. But there it is, just starting to take off for its seed. Thank <music> you.